in meditation a very important topic i don't know whether i have the full time to explain to you and also conduct the meditation session otherwise today we'll just try to see what is this verse this verse is telling us exactly what vidyaranya has told in the first verse of panchadasi chapter 10 this verse for meditation is from chandogya upanishad as in all my meditation sessions i use shruti as the pramanam and we try in our meditation to realize the meaning of that verse and see what is that in our own intellect that is our type of meditation this verse says o saumya sadeva saumyade agre aasi ekamevad advitiyam before the world was manifest was created there was only existence the higher self one without a second non dual advaitam that is what is our is what we should take from this verse out of that self the whole world emerged that is the essence of this verse exactly the same essence which is there in the first verse of panchadas of the 10th chapter this sat the first word sadeva sad eva sat eva means sat alone what is sat sat is another name of my own higher nature i am explaining this verse now very deep in its meaning in chapter 2 of panchadasi vidyaranya takes this verse and writes the entire uh, chapter just by one verse i mean it's amazing you know the way he conducts this uh, uh these uh, these chapter the way he has written these chapters he has written for in the second chapter on this verse he has written 109 verses to explain this it's called panchabhuta viveka the distinction of the five elements from the self now the self here is non dual advaitam it is non dual by nature hence in sanskrit it is called as advaitam why is it non dual because there is nothing else apart from it that is the highest truth the entire world of names and forms was this sat alone before they were in manifest form this sat is called as the cause of the universe what is the cause of a shirt cotton you can say cloth what is the what is the cause of the cloth cotton what is the cause of furniture wood what is the cause of ornaments gold similarly the cause of this universe is this higher self which is consciousness or existence principle the existence principle is called as sat the consciousness principle is called as chit so the first thing you should understand about the higher self it is the cause of the entire world jagat karanam brahma jagat karanam sat jagat karanam chit with reference to the property or the functions of the objects or the beings we give it a name but what is the common denominator of all it is this sat principle pure existence or pure consciousness which is called as 
objectless awareness. It has no distraction. It is called as aksharam, which we saw last week in the Mundakam uh, mantra. Aksharam Brahma. Pure existence, being the substratum, being objectless, it pervades the whole universe, the whole cosmos. So in a short way, we can say everything in the world, because it is coming from existence, it is or such principle, we can say everything is born out of this and everything resolves into this. That means what? Everything is made of existence and also nothing is also made up of existence. When you say nothing is, you say is, right? And then nothing means that is also a bhava padarta. It is also an object of awareness. Nothing blankness is an object of awareness, which is what we see in our, which we experience in our sleep state. Everything is in the waking state. Nothing is sleep state. Both of these are aware by whom? By me, the Sakshi, the pure existence. What knows this ahamkara in the waking state? And in the three states, waking, dream, and sleep, this ahankara is and the ahankara is not. It is not in the sleep state, I notion. Ahankara is there in the waking notion, in the waking state and the dream state. I, 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 I am dreaming, I am seeing the world, I am experiencing. That is there in the waking and in the dream. It is not there in the sleep, but all, both ahankara being there. Ahamkara not being there is aware by what principle it is called as the Sat principle, Chit principle. World was existence before, it is existent now, and it will be existent in future also. Existence is the common denominator all the time. That is why it is called as Sat. Space, time, shape, color, properties belong to the objects of knowledge. They are superficial because they are coming and going, appearing, seemingly to being there, it's called as unreal mithya. Whereas I, the Sakshi, Sat principle am real satyam. This satyam is intrinsic to me. That is the core of my personality, which I want to be in my meditation. In meditation, I want to be this sat principle. Sat only known through the Shruti. If I meditate on sat, I can only do this if I have understood Chandogya Upanishad, chapter 6, second section, the first mantra. Sadeva Somyam Idag Agre Asi. I understand this sentence in total. Then I can say this Sat is Sajatiya Vijatiya Swagata Bheda Rahitaha. Sajatiya means there is no other consciousness like consciousness because it is non-dual. It is not like stone and man, matter and conscious. It's not two. Vijatiya. Vijatiya means, uh, uh, Sajatiya means it is of the same species, same jati, man and man, women and women, human and human. There are there are no speech, uh, there are no differences in that in that consciousness. It, that is what is called as sajatiya beda rahita. Vijatiya means what? Different jati. There is no consciousness and matter. 
matter is existing in consciousness matter is not independent consciousness is independent swagata peda this three this topic i have explained before also i'm just giving to you in short so that you can recollect swagata means uh, consciousness does not have parts it is one undifferentiated mass of consciousness there is no trunk hand legs and all that there's no parts if it is parts i can see the different parts beda will come differences will come i need to differentiate this consciousness principle atma principle from the anatma which is the universe the universe is inert made up of five elements whereas this consciousness is sentiency reality so this reality is not the world and existence but it is existence alone you see there are not two things reality and the world that's what it means here why because reality exists by itself the sat exists by itself i exist by myself in the sleep state without the world of matter that state is called as the sat state how do i come to know this through the shruti otherwise i will be just sleeping but because of the i apply the knowledge of shruti i can say i am that sat so what is the causal chain the causal same chain is from the sat astita matram pure existence all the gunas they come but that pure existence is without any gunas because it is without any gunas it is indriya agocharam indriya agocharam means the sense of sense organs cannot perceive this consciousness and it is sarvagatam sarvagatam means is all pervading because is one mass of consciousness which is this pure self it is ekam one advaitam non dual and very important is it is jnana swarupam it is the nature of knowledge everything else in the universe is inert except me the consciousness pure consciousness that's what is my real nature and this is the ultimate vedantic truth which is the jiva brahma ikyam which all the upanishads they describe the sat is the material cause intelligent cause and all the other causes which are required for this universe i realize this pure consciousness pure existence and i know that i am this immortal truth behind this entire universe so with this let us now meditate on this sat as our own immortal self it is the same sat which vidyaranya explained in the first verse let us try to meditate on this just for 5 minutes if you have done it for 5 minutes you can do for 50 minutes because you have understood the art of meditation through the help of shruti very important all the upanishads they talk of the same nature of the self i if at all you know uh, in the saturday classes we will be ending within two three sessions and then we'll be starting the upanishad course which will go for two years 10 upanishads will be starting studying every saturday panchadasi if you all agree we will do for another two years or one and a half years i don't know 15 chapters we may not do all 15 chapters we may do a few chapters but it will take a long time if you like the panchadasi we will continue okay with this now let us 
try to sit erect. Please close your eyes. Sit erect. The moment you sit erect, this is a right posture for meditation. There is a connection between my mind and the breath. Prana Vikshanam is a process of watching your breath. Observe the breath being inhaled and exhaled through the two nostrils. This is an automatic process in this universe by the power of Maya Shakti. For the next few minutes, I will contemplate on the Shruti Vakyam, Sadeva Saumyam, Idam Agre Asi. Before entering this body, the Shruti teaches me that I was the Sat principle, pure existence. Sat existed before the universe came into manifestation. I am of the nature of pure existence, the higher self, my true nature. This self is non-dual. There is no second in the self, pure self, pure awareness. It never changes. Nirvikara. Self luminous.
स्वप्रकाश complete in itself purnaha I can realize this pure presence right now as the core of my personality. The pure I. I am the light of consciousness which wakes up the buddhi to experience the waking world the dream world the sleep world of ignorance they all come and go i am motionless changeless hence called as the witness sakshi i do not participate akarta never a doer of action when the world manifests i illumine the world through the mind when the world goes to unmanifest condition in the mind i still illumine the blank state of the mind like the light of the dance theater which is ever shining the states come and go thoughts come and go but i remain ever the illuminator the ultimate knower of the entire cosmos never change i am nitya immortal eternal 
beyond time and space and objects. I have no limitations. I am imperishable. Aksharam. In this way, I am in continuous thought about my higher self, my true nature. This process is called as Nidityasana. Sajatiya Vritti Pravaha. All thoughts leading to the Sat principle with the help of the Shruti Vakya. I will chant Om, follow the sound, and try to experience the silence. Om. Oh. oh. Poor Namada, poor Namidam, poor Nahat, poor Namada Chade. Poor Nasya, poor Namata, yeah. Poor Nameva was Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I become aware of the breath again. In this tranquil mind, I have realized my true nature. I can face now the world with any amount of challenges. Rub your palms. Rub them against your eyes and slowly Gently open your eyes.